Hello, my name is Martyr, and this is Let's Play Forward to the Sky, and thank you for watching. Forward to the Sky is a third-person puzzle platformer, guys, with some light elements of action thrown in there to kind of keep things fresh. You basically play this adorable chibi character on the left you see right there, that little blonde, and she's on a quest to kind of purify this giant sky tower of the witch or evil in general. It's a really cute story, it's a cute game. It released on Steam January 2015. It was developed and published by Animu or Animu Games. You can go ahead and get Forward to the Sky on Steam for $7.19 during the first week sale price, guys, or $7.99 normally. Now, Forward to the Sky is an adorable little game, guys. It's, it's a bite-sized game, pretty much as small as the main character is, kind of. Um, but the reason I say it's bite sized is because, well, it's not super long. If we click up here, we see we have six levels total for you to enjoy, which is why I think it's only $7.99 because they know that they're really, the experience of the game is enjoyable, but it's, it's short. How about that? Um, so otherwise it's, you know, it's a cute game. It's fun. The puzzles are cute and all that. We're going to get into a lot of kind of stuff here in a minute anyways. Um, as far as the options go, there really isn't squat. Um, the game does have resolution control when you first start it up. I think it was made with the Unity engine. Uh, and there is somewhat rebindable keys if you mess with the options a little bit. Uh, the controller support is there, but I think it's mostly for the 360 controller, as my Logitech controller had a bunch of mismatched buttons and all that kind of stuff. So you do have that option if you have a controller that works with it. I mean, I'd probably recommend playing the game with the controller for sure. So like I said, the quest, the story of this game is basically trying to, you know, clean the sky tower. It says it right there. That's kind of the story, basically. The witch seized all the crystals and attacked the people of the Sky Tower. Some were lucky enough to escape the tower, and they passed down their tragic story. The Sky Tower had recently reemerged from the clouds. A young princess took it upon herself to expel the evil witch from the Sky Tower and return the crystals to their people. Uh, and you kind of unlock these little the murals, I guess you could say, as you get deeper and deeper into the game, revealing more and more of the story. Uh, how you actually unlock the story, I think, is kind of in a very clever way. You actually have to collect these crystals in each level. So let's just go ahead and we'll start at, uh, well, did I get all the crystals in level one? I don't think I did, did I? No, I didn't. Okay, so that's perfect. Let's do level one again. All right, level one should pretty much give you a pretty good example of everything you're going to expect in this uh, game. And this game, like I said, has a, has a, has a mindset of you're going to want to kind of go through levels again if you don't collect everything the first time through and try to figure out all the puzzles because the puzzles are kind of the main feature of this game, trying to figure things out, how to get your little chibi, adorable anime character to a certain point where she can actually go ahead and grab crystals. So let's talk about what you're looking at right here. On the top left, we have my health, which is 1,000 out of 1,000. To the bottom left of that is the number of crystals I have collected in this uh, board, which obviously right now is currently zero. I can also move the mouse around with my mouse here, which is basically simple panning it around. If you have suffer from a little bit of motion sickness, I apologize. I'll try to keep it as steady as possible. You can also zoom the camera in and out a little bit with the mouse wheel. Um, which might help with you know, the, the motion sickness, as it were. If I left-click, I do a kind of a quick basic attack. If I right-click, I do kind of a heavy attack that takes a little bit more time to use and it kind of makes me vulnerable. I can also jump with the, uh, the space bar and move around with the WASD keys. Like I said, the gameplay does work very well with a keyboard and mouse. I mean, work with a controller, I should say. Uh, but, you know, either way, it's going to work just fine. So how do we collect crystals? Well, we collect crystals by either killing bad guys... Which is where I said that you know, there's a light action element to things in this game. As you can see, they drop some crystals. Each of them drop one crystal, and there's a hundred crystals per board. Light from the crystals is radiating inside the statue. Break it open and collect some crystals. Now there is some voice acting in this game. Now you're either going to like the voice acting, or you're gonna be a little bit like me who finds a little bit grating on the ears because it's just meant to sound adorable and chibi and kawaii and all that good stuff and you know that's fine but she does talk a lot uh and she starts talking to the witch who's also you know chibi and adorable and kawaii so it's just a, a preferred preference it's cute it's adorable just sometimes i'm like please shut up but you know anyways there the second way to collect crystals is actually finding these statues and smashing them and these drop a whole bunch of crystals as you can see but they are harder to find usually they're kind of in very difficult spots to um, get to. As you move through the six levels of the game, you basically start finding different kinds of puzzles. As you can see, 
you're moving kind of upwards and they do really play with that vertical element of up and down left and right below you and beside you and all that kind of crazy stuff um, so it's not always easy to find exactly where you're supposed to go which makes it you know I will say gives the game some replayability and gives it a little bit of a challenge I will say that the puzzles while they're simple they were challenging enough to you know really keep my attention and it was fun so let's see here um, we gotta find like, I collected most of the crystals on the cell the first time I played it but uh, oh god spikes who has spikes in their place dear god this is just wrong yes it is all right, so let's see. Uh, that would be, I think, instantaneous death. Yes, that would be. <laughs> By the way, oh, you know, I should probably show that up. If you happen to fall off like ah, like that, you don't die. You get instantly picked up by your blimp and dropped off where you uh, you're like, kind of like your last checkpoint was, uh, which depending on where you fall off can be you know really close to where you were or really far from where you were, depending on how much you've managed to accomplish. Which, you know, like I said, the, the game is not meant to be too punishing. It's more meant to be enjoyed. It's a fun little adorable anime game, as it were. Definitely family friendly, I would say. Uh, just about anybody could play this game. I think you'd probably enjoy it quite a bit. Uh, fans of, of anime, you know, fans of kawaii games, you know. Someone who's looking for something for their kid to play. Plenty of people will find things to enjoy about this game. Taking these fools out! Ugh. So as you can see, like, like I was saying, her voice could just be a little, little tiny, tiny grating on the ears here. Just, she just talks a lot. And the puzzles do get more advanced, by the way, as we as we move forward and deeper into the game. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, so that's where I was before. That's where I arrived. Uh, the puzzles do get more advanced. As you get deeper into the game. Ow! Wow! Brute child? Murder? Much? Oh dear god! It's okay, because. Oh my god! Oh god! Okay. Oh god. Run, child! Oh my god! That poor child was stabbed in the head like 80 times by spikes! Oh my goodness. You won't be afraid, are you sure? Because I'm afraid. I'm very, very afraid. Alright. So again, this is just one example of the puzzles that you'll be kind of facing in this game. You have to move these towers into position so that way you can actually kind of climb this point. I think that's the right way. I think that's the right way, yes. Um, it's really simplistic. The puzzle is, this one isn't too particularly challenging. It did take me some finagling, I will say that, to figure out this particular puzzle. Um, and yeah, the puzzles are, like I said, they're, they're enjoyable. They're not too difficult. Um, the combat is... The combat is kind of light, I will say that much. You're not going to find too much of a struggle with the combat, as it were. Take out all these other guys first if I can. Before I take care of that big guy. I will say that sometimes I find myself missing when I feel like I should be hitting with the sword because you know it has such a wide arc. Um, I don't know. Sometimes I just feel like I missed. All right, so we gotta kill this guy. All right, we took him out. We got one more statue over there. Hopefully, we can get to it without dying. We did fantastic. Collect a whole bunch of more crystals. Now, like I said, I did beat this level before. Ow. Uh, I just don't know where I missed the last crystal. Ow. Oh, God. Okay, I don't want to die like an idiot on camera. So, hopefully that we won't die like an idiot on camera. Okay, so here we go. Maybe I missed one of the uh, monsters. That's very possible. So you can also push boxes around, as you can imagine, help you climb 
uh, you know, other environmental things, puzzles, etc., etc. This should be all the crystals. Ah! So I guess I did miss one of the monsters last time I played this level. And that'll unlock the entire mural, the entire little clip here. And actually how you beat the levels, you get your way, you find your way to your blimp again. And then it kind of takes you to higher points in the, um, the sky tower, as it were. And that's just kind of a basic, rough idea of what the game is basically like, guys. You're just going to be kind of going through the areas, going through the puzzles, trying to find crystals, trying to find these statues, fighting monsters, uh, and discovering more and more about this game. It was during these hard times that a peculiar little girl was born. Curios curiosity, yeah, curiously, bleh, I can't talk right now. Crystals grew out of her body. The people were aghast. Oh, okay, interesting. So that is the witch, quote-unquote, by the way, whom I'm pretty sure is not evil. After all, as much as our main character thinks she is. We didn't mean to do that. Uh, so we'll move on to the next level here. Again, this will basically just show you kind of the elements getting more and more complicated as you get deeper and deeper into the game. But again, not so complicated that you're going to be frustrated. I think what basically happens is, is that the levels are easy to beat, but the challenge lies in finding all 100 crystals in each level. And that, it can be, it can be difficult, to say the least. Um, the game does feature Steam cards and Steam achievements. I always like, feel like I should mention that. That's uh, always nice for people who enjoy that kind of thing. And yeah, its themes are pretty freaking adorable, all in all. It's an enjoyable uh, game, to say the least. It's a good game to kind of just sit around and play one afternoon, or you'll play with your kids, or whatever. You know, it's just, it's nice, it's relaxing, it's not too difficult. Easy to play. Very approachable as well. I mean, you, there is like a little bit of an explanation of what you have to do in the game, but you really can kind of figure out what to do pretty much on your own, I think. I don't know what happens if you die, though. I will say that much. Like, I don't know what happens if you run out of all 100, uh, 1,000 points of health. Maybe th that would require you to start the level over again? I'm not really sure. But uh, if I could find maybe some way to kill myself, I'll actually go ahead and experiment with that. Hi, right, skeletons. Get away from me. Stupid skeletons. But yeah, the main character's adorable. The graphics are cute. They're not too super fancy. Uh, the environment kind of stays the same pretty much for most of the levels. This, it does turn to nighttime, though, and they start adding glow effects and things like that. Which does make it, give it a certain beauty to it, I will say that. Even though, basically, you're going to be kind of staring at these, you know, gray bricks with green all over them for pretty much all six levels. Um, it, it does manage to change things up occasionally enough to where... It does manage to stay, I think, kind of pretty. The music is also very enjoyable. Oh, dear God! Uh, okay, so um, the music is very enjoyable. I will say that much. Uh, voice acting, I think I've commented already enough on. Uh, you're going to either love it or you're going to you know, hate it. Gosh dang it! And, you know, falling can be slightly annoying, as you can see. You know, just... Especially in this particular puzzle, it will be happening a lot. They will be playing with that instant death thing quite a bit. A lot of times where you're going to be playing with puzzles where you're going to get blown off ledges sometimes. And that can be a little bit frustrating, I'm not going to lie. But, you know, it's not too frustrating with that checkpoint system. Um, oh, come on. One thing I wish there was, I wish there was a freaking block button. Oh, okay, so there's okay, so there isn't a block button. I just realized if you press shift though, you do have like a little dodge roll attack. Okay, so that's interesting. Oh, there we go. <laughs> to my death, right there. Okay. Let's just kill some of these. Please hit straight. That would be wonderful. So maybe there is another button for block I'm not aware of. Let me just go around here hitting a bu bunch of buttons randomly. Okay, kill these guys first. I I did just literally just discovered that entire shift dodge thing. I mean, this skeleton is kicking my butt. He's totally whomping on me. I cannot just would you just please just that was kind of cool. 
Alright, so let's, let's go play around here with the buttons. G, K, no. Nothing else? Nothing? Control, maybe? Alt? Nothing? Tab? Okay, so shift is pretty much it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. So I guess there is like a little dodge button, but that's basically your only means of blocking. Is kind of just moving out of the way is, is pretty much it. Uh, which, you know, I guess is fine. If you're really good at timing, you can pretty much dodge every attack. A, a dedicated block button would have been kind of nice. But again, it's it, the action element of the game isn't really the focus here. The, the, the puzzles are, the, you know, discovering things and kind of trying to finagle these puzzles to work for you is really the more focus of this game. With the action just kind of there just to break up the monotony, I think, all in all. Yeah, I mean, it's an enjoyable game. I I liked it quite a bit. I think it's cute. I just think it's really short. So, if you're looking for a short, quick game, this is great. Um, it, it's bite-sized. How about that? That's the best way I'm going to describe it. That's, that's literally what I'm going to say about it. It's an adorable, bite-sized game. With lots of voice acting. Which you may or may not... Why is that box going left? Are you right? Okay. Do as I say, box. Or I will smash you. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, that's on the switch now. I'm so low on health, by the way. We may get to see what happens if I, I run out of health here. That's not good. That was weird looking. I don't really understand the point of these shifting doors. Why can't I just hit the switches? Why do I need to put boxes on them? If they just go up and down, I could just stand on them and then, you know, whatever. But, okay. Maybe there's like a thing you get for unlocking all of them? I'm not sure. Let's move along. Let's complete a little bit more of the level here. And then we'll wrap things up. Because I think you got a pretty basic idea of how to, um... What this game is all about, basically. All uh, right, here. This is one of the more little complicated, more uh, complicated puzzles right here. As you can see, if I were to try to jump over that, I would be brutally sliced by those fans over there. So what I actually need to do is I need to head downwards and turn all these fans down. Again, that doesn't leave me many directions to go in, but ha ha ha! Behold, there is an elevator. That takes me back up. And I screwed that up. Let's pretend that didn't happen. I am a professional after all. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yes. Okay, I totally don't know what I'm doing. But you get the basic idea. I kind of need to manipulate these platforms here so that way they don't slice and dice you. Did I screw up already? No, how? I did not screw up. Aha. Uh -huh. I did it correctly. Did I? Wait. Yes, I totally did it correctly. Ah. Now go over here. We lower this platform. We go back down. And now we find ourselves in a position to alter the platform's positions. Again. Which this time... We should be able to just simply... Do that, and then go back up. Huzzah! Like I said, I played uh, levels 1 through 3, I think. I played basically just about half the game. Um, so I kind of know what to do specifically in this level. Which, you know, I also kind of feel bad about because it is a little bit spoilerific. Uh, and I, will, I do feel like the puzzles are the highlight of this game. You're going to get the most out of this game from the puzzles. Uh, I forgot how do you unlock those doors. Again, her voice is, you know, just slightly ever so wonderful. Please, kind kawaii girl, say no more. We know what your quest is. Aha, there's a statue. That's good, because we haven't nearly collected as many crystals as we probably should have. Alright here, let's continue moving along. We lowered that door. Right, I think we need to jump across this time. There's a statue up there. You can kind of faintly see where there's a glow of statues. You can see right there, they're kind of like that stone right there. It kind of gives you a hint as to where that you're supposed to go 
to look for statues. Oh god! Okay, that's okay. That's okay, that's why I hit the switch over here. I don't have to start all over, don't worry. What the? I may have just fallen right through that platform. I'm not sure. That's weird because the game up to this point was kind of completely bug free, I have to say. It's actually very well made. All the elements work very well. Except for the fact that I just keep falling and I suck. Um, yeah, so all the elements work really well. I think replay value is going to depend on how good you are at puzzle games. Uh, there are six levels, so the game is short, but again, you also have that collection aspect to it to unlock, you know, all the story, unlock all those little murals there. It's hard to control her on these little platforms. Um, you have the collection act, you know, aspect to things right there, which, you know, is it's going to give you a little bit extra gameplay, but if you're really good at puzzles, you're going to kind of blow through it all in about five seconds. Now there is one more statue. I forget where she is. And you know what? I don't even remember how to get to her for that matter. Let's let's continue on here for a second. That's just gonna take me back. Um oh right, 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 right. I have no idea how to get to that statue over there. Unless I bring these all the way up. Oh, hold on. But then how do I get back to where I was? Ah, oh, okay. So that's how you get the last statue in this level. All right. So we had to move all these, these beginning platforms pretty much to the top. And these, at some point in time, we activated these. Not really sure when. But I guess we did activate these particular platforms at some point. Oh dear god, we're gonna get crushed. Oh, would you suck a bitch? I'm a professional. I'm telling you. I'm a professional. We're gonna get the last um, statue here, guys. And then we're gonna probably wrap up this board, guys. Yeah, like I said, it's, it's a cute game. It's at a bad price. If you're looking for something to play with your kids, this is a fine choice. Don't go, don't jump too high. If you jump too high, you're gonna get your head chopped off. Alright, smash Ola. That should be all the crystals. Aha! There we go, 100 crystals. Level 2 is completely cleared. We come back over here, hit this little switch. This should take us back to the main area. Aha! Aha! I did not figure this out last time I played this level. I figured it out this time, though. <laughs> yes. Now we can just jump across here. I am terrible at platforming. It's not because she's hard to control, but just because in general I suck. Obviously. <laughs> and there we go. It's going to be the end of the level, guys. We got 100 crystals. Yay! And we only did it with 65 hit points left. That's, that's impressive, I think. I think that's an accomplishment right there. That should be an achievement right there. And it's going to unlock that entire little mural there, that entire little painting there. Give us a little bit more of the story. And uh, fill us in on more about the what happened to the witch and her story and all that good stuff, guys. So there you have it, guys. It's a really cute game. I just want to say big thanks to the developer for a chance to check out this title. Thank you for watching. We're going to subscribe and share, and I'll keep bringing you awesome indie games, guys. If you really enjoyed this video, maybe consider hitting up that tip jar. If you're feeling generous of heart, all tips go to improving the channel or future giveaways. Till next time, guys. Play more indie games.